Welcome to the infield garage, buddy. This is where we prepare the cars before each race. I'd like you to go out on the track and start getting used to how this car handles. Oh, there you are. Before we can start the season, we need to get you used to the car and hopefully attract some sponsors. Run a few laps, nothing too crazy. Just get used to how the car handles. Remember, we've got potential sponsors watching. Hey buddy, I'm Ty. I'm your spotter. I'm here to help you reach victory lane. During the race, I'll be telling you where the other drivers are on the track, how your car's doing, and help you out with some of the pit strategy. All you have to do is concentrate on driving. Now let's get this test session underway. Good luck. There's a few things you'll need to keep an eye on here, buddy. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the proximity detector. This will show you when another car is getting very close to you and it'll help you avoid collisions. Just off to the right, there's your speed indicator, your fuel gauge, and status indicator. You can toggle the status indicator between damage, tire condition, brake bias, and engine and track temperatures using the Y button. If your fuel starts running low, or your damage indicator is turning red, you'll probably want to come in and pit. The tire indicator shows your current tire wear. If your tires get too worn, you should pit and replace them. Let off the gas as you head into the corners and go back onto the power as you reach the center of the corner. Remember that when you apply the accelerator too aggressively, the car can get loose. Don't be afraid to come off the gas and exchange the power for control. The fastest line isn't always the inside. Try experimenting with taking the high line on different corners. When you drive directly behind another car, you'll pick up that car's draft. Your car will be faster while you're drafting, which makes a huge difference at the super speedway tracks. Although drafting allows you to go faster, it causes your engine temperature to rise. Stay in the draft too long, and you'll blow your engine. Keep an eye on the engine temperature while drafting, and if it gets too hot, move out into cooler air. If you make a mistake during a race, you can turn back time a short way by pressing the rewind button. You can only do this a limited number of times each race, so use them sparingly. When the brake indicator shows, apply the brakes until it goes away. Looks really good right here. That's enough for now. Pull it back in the pit lane and let's go over and see what the sponsors think. Good work out there. I've been watching the way you drive, and I think this setup and these assists are going to suit your style. You're the one driving, partner. You can change them to whatever you want.
Good work out there. The sponsors loved what they saw. This is our first sponsor. They'll pay you credits based on how well you perform in the events. Hey, look. New sponsor stickers have now been added to the car. Our season is centered around the schedule. You can check out all the planned events and enter the races from here. When you're ready, select Schedule and we'll get started. As you can see, each event on the schedule appears on the left. Just select an event to see more details about it. The next event in the schedule is always highlighted in red. You can look back at previous events and view your results, but you can't replay an event once you've left it. In You can set up the race length and game difficulty at the start of each race weekend. Make sure it's what you want, though, because once you start the weekend, you can't change it. How you feeling, champ? You ready to go for your first race? Okay, buddy. Go out there and have some fun. Just remember, it's a good time to go out there and get that car dialed in. Anytime you need to, just come in the pits. We'll work on it some more.
up, pal. Better make sure you're happy with that setup.
Let's find out if this setup is good for you, buddy. Head out there and run a few laps. The Daytona Duels determine the... It's time to set the starting lineup for the Daytona 500 with a pair of 150-mile qualifying races. The Duel at Daytona. I'm Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip. Mike, these races are fun because the driver has one responsibility. Don't wreck the car. Go out there, get some information, kind of prepare for the Daytona 500. So go out there, drive smart, and oh, by the way, try to win. This is the opportunity these teams have been working on all winter. It's time to go earn a spot in the Daytona 500 or load up and go home. That was awesome, buddy. You just earned a place on the front row for the Great American Race. Good news. You earned some extra credits by winning a contingency award. You win contingency awards for achieving certain things during a race weekend. Check out the earnings breakdown option to see more.